Hi there, I'm Jeremiah Salaska, creative director for Fifth Cell, and this is our new title, Hybrid. Uh, so Fifth Cell is actually known for scribble knots and other quirky titles like Drawn to Life, uh, but now we've actually gone and done a third-person shooter for XBLA. In the shooter genre, innovation isn't necessarily a common word, but that's what we pride ourselves on. And so when we decided to do hybrid, we wanted to do something that was actually completely different uh, from the norm of what you're, you're used to, but still kind of feels similar. So probably the biggest thing that separates uh, hybrid is its combat-focused movement. And so with combat-focused movement, instead of controlling uh, the movement specifically, you just look at a cover and press A, your character will automatically go there. If you press B, they'll actually retreat, and uh, you can actually, with the left stick, you can control uh, on the path where they're going. So as they're flying to cover, they can move kind of strafe and, and dodge. Uh, within their flight. Uh, the game actually doesn't have any ground movement, uh, except for strafing within cover. We're losing. Get back in there. While you're moving, you can actually change directions mid-flight, so you're not just locked to that one cover. So it's very, very fluid, very, very intuitive, and very, very simple, but it makes the strategy very, very deep because of the fact that you can't just go anywhere. You have to be very purposeful in your movement. What's really cool about this game is that because we have kind of uh, a focused kind of movement, we can allow people to uh, go to upside down cover or to wall cover uh, seamlessly without any problems. So they just select it and they'll go and they'll go upside down. We also have a, a kill streak system called drones. And so you've seen a few of them before. There's these kind of like robot looking characters that fly around. When you get one kill, you get a stalker, and he's a little buddy that flies around with you and kind of shoots where you shoot. When you get three kills in a row, um, you get a warbringer, and a warbringer is this huge kind of heavy artillery kind of guy that will fly around and uh, kind of cause havoc. The last uh, kill streak is called the Preon. The Preon is kind of like a heat-seeking missile. She requires five kills, and uh, once she gets once she gets out, she's basically going to target some guy, and uh, she'll take him out unless you kill him, unless you kill her before she gets to you. We don't have a, a class-based system. Instead, we have a system where um, you can pair on the fly as you die. Uh, you can go into the respawn menu and you can pair and match uh, weapons and abilities to your liking. So, like one of my favorite combos is the double-barreled shotgun, which is pretty much an instant kill when you're right on on top of somebody and you hit them. Um, but it only has obviously two bullets. Um, with teleports, so you can kind of surprise people and sneak up on them. That's a really fun ability. There's other ones like. Uh, uh, heavy heavy machine gun with uh, a siphon ability, which basically siphons off their health and gives it to you. So as you're fighting and you're moving around, you can uh, kind of siphon up their health and, and take them out. Time for the lead. So we actually have a persistent world war, so every single battle that you do matters. A lot of games where you just, you know, you get in and you have personal achievement, and we have that too where you're ranking up, you're getting new abilities, you're getting new uh, weapons over time when you unlock them per level. But there's also this huge persistent world war that's going on over across every single continent. And uh, there's two different factions, the Paladin and the Variant. And you actually choose on the onset from the very beginning of when you log in who you're going to be, and that's who you're going to be for the rest of the game. And so you're actually helping your faction do what, do what they need to do by winning matches for them. And that'll actually not only help your faction, but it'll actually help you as well. We're actually using the Source engine, so this isn't is a homegrown engine, but it's heavily modified. And it's actually running 60 frames a second. We actually thought that with a multiplayer shooter, that's really important uh, to get that kind of smooth gameplay going. And uh, so we spend a lot of time, you know, optimizing and, and doing a lot on the Xbox to make sure that that works. Hybrid is out this summer for XBLA.